Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to uh, do some detailing on the uh, old Durango RT here before I get ready to sell it. And uh, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to clean these wheels off. These are the snow wheels and tires are on it. Uh, the 17s are in the garage. And uh, as you can see, I got a lot of just nastiness and um now these wheels i bought used from a junkyard and then i bought new tires for them and um they really haven't ever been cleaned so um i'm gonna go ahead i want to clean these up i'm gonna sell these separate from the truck so uh um what i want to do is i want to give a little try of um Mama. been doing some reading some guys say oven cleaner and um, other people, especially Consumer Reports, actually said that this ZEP industrial uh, cleaner degreaser um, works just as good as uh, your conventional wheel cleaner. So I'm um, going to give it a try. And um, I've used like the, uh, the, the no scrub style of uh, cleaners, wheel cleaners before. And you know what? You you have to put elbow grease in all of them, unfortunately. But um, what uh, what I'm really looking to do here is um, I just want to see which one of these does better uh, without having to scrub them or anything like that. So um, um, I've seen some videos on YouTube of taking your oven cleaner, spraying it on, and then you take like a like a scour pad and you scrub it well scour pad i'm sorry that's that's not a good thing because you don't want to be scratching up your your wheel surface or putting any um a tooth to it as they'd say because you put a tooth to it that's like you if you'd be painting something um so what i want to do is i just want to see what what'll happen and i'm just going to take like a soft bristle brush like an old toothbrush or i've got a wheel brush um and see what happens here so uh let's go ahead i'm gonna spray half the wheel um now we are in sunlight so uh that you know we probably will end up having uh some problems here you know what maybe i can go on the other side maybe that wheel is just as bad i don't remember now yeah here we go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually spray half of the wheel spraying half the wheel and tire with the ZEP cleaner. Now the ZEP, I've obviously just put it into a, a spritz bottle. I buy it in a one gallon jug. Um, you can actually buy this at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I think Walmart even carries it now. So, um, and then uh, I just had some of this left over from, from the rentals. So I'm gonna give it a shot here, see what happens. Now this oven cleaner is kind of old, so I don't really know how good it's going to work, but you know what, we'll give it a shot. Now the nice thing with the oven cleaner is it's not going to harm the paint because most ovens are painted on the inside. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Now, you can actually already see the oven cleaner working. So I'm going to let this sit for, oh, five, ten minutes, and then uh, I'll come back, we'll hose it off, and see what it looks like. So uh, we'll be right back. In about five minutes, I've taken a little scrub brush, just a little, like, uh, industrial toothbrush, I call them, and I've just given it a little try, um, just given it a little spritz uh, or a little scrub in a couple of difficult areas, and I did on both sides. So I did the industrial cleaner and I did the oven cleaner. So let's go ahead and give it a little rinse off here and see what uh, what did the better job. Want some water, buddy? There you go.
And I suppose I probably could have grigged out the pressure washer to really give it a good uh, test. But uh, I just wanted to do it so that pretty much everybody out there can uh, use the same comparison. Alright, so let me move this over here. And we got a full audience here now. So, let me, let me move my son here. Let's take a little water, buddy. Here. There. So, Emma, come on, move. All right. So now, as you can see, looking at the wheel itself, now I scrubbed it a little bit right here, okay? And as you can see, I can literally wipe most of that off. So I am going to have to come in here with a rag, okay? I'm going to have to wipe down each one of these, but I'll tell you what, for my money, I would go with either of them, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back here, I'm going to go get a rag. I'm going to go wipe these down, okay, one more time, and I'm going to rinse them, and then uh, I'll do a final comparison of what I think is uh, the better of the two, okay? All right. Okay, guys, I'm back here. I'm just trying out a rag here. Just giving it a wipe down. Now, my rag is just an ordinary old bath towel that's been ripped down. And uh, there's just nothing on it except for some water. And I'll tell you what, I'm pretty darn impressed with both of these products. And now remember, it was only about five minute amount of time that I had um, I had waited so now let's see what one cleans up better for on the white letters of the tires <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do one one last time here so I'm just going to give this wheel a rinse down, and then we'll do our overall comparison here. Okay. Let's take a look here. Let me give it a rinse down. Ooh. Whoops, sorry, buddy. Okay, here. Here, you go over there. Here, you go over there, play. All right. So, cheap babysitter. Water for a kid. All right, so let's take a look here. So now, on this side of the wheels. Let me go back, step back here. Let's take a look here. Overall, for cleaning-wise, I would, of course, the dog's got to get in the way. Come on, Emma, over here, over here, over here. All right, so for overall, I would have to say that, let me move these guys out of the way so you guys get a little bit better left. Everything's real and uncut around here. No editing here. Okay, go. Um, I would definitely say that the Zep did a lot nicer of a job cleaning up the uh, lettering of the tires, okay, compared to the uh, the brake cleaner, or excuse me, the, the, not the brake cleaner, the oven cleaner. As for cleaning off the wheels, gosh, they both did a good job. 
they both did a really nice job. Um, now I will say with the oven cleaner, I had just a little bit less um, scrubbing to do. Um, now they're both very comparable though for the um, the the ease of scrubbing that I had to do. So uh, once again, this here Easy Off is probably about five dollars, four dollars for the um, name brand stuff. I'm sure you could go to the dollar store and buy something similar to it for a buck. Um, for a gallon of the Zep cleaner is nine dollars. So I think you're gonna get a lot more out of the Zep cleaner than you will of the oven cleaner. So um, that's my comparison. And uh, like I said, I think I would go with the, the Zep product over the Easy Off. But um, they both do a very nice job. I'm, I'm really quite impressed as to um, how well they work in comparison to the commercial um, wheel cleaners that are out there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the rest of these wheels. And um, then uh, I'm going to call this a wrap. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you like it. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to give me one of these. Okay. Um, so thank you guys. And uh, don't forget to write your comments down there. Alrighty. Catch you later. Guys, well, I figured I'd uh, give you a uh, final viewing of what the wheel looks like after it has been cleaned with the Zep. 505 cleaner I believe is what it was so so there it is that was that real nasty looking wheel so I've done them all and then I've also done these ones so so guys that's uh, my conclusion on using the Zep cleaner as a degreaser uh, and uh, brake dust remover so um, try it and let me know how it works alrighty guys until the next video and don't forget give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down there gotcha